Today, we're going to take an inside look at how Fox Live Valve Shocks increase the capabilities of the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor. For the best performance over any terrain, you need a wide range of damping support and control. One factor that makes this possible is that the shocks are simply bigger. The diameter of the shock body and internals are increased to produce more support. Additionally, the shock's internal bypass design and the upgraded live valve technology control doubled the damping support of the previous generation. In general, the amount of damping support provided depends on the position of the shock as it moves. When the shock is at the beginning of its travel, it compresses with very little resistance. This area is called the ride zone. The oil inside the shock moves in a circular flow, up the inner body, through shimmed bypass ports, down between the inner and outer body, then back through refill holes. The oil thigh passes the main piston, so the shock can move with ease and provide comfort over light terrain. Now, as the terrain becomes more aggressive, the shock compresses further into the travel. It continues step by step past each additional bypass port, which progressively forces more oil to flow through the main piston assembly. This increases resistance and slows down the shock, providing you with a broad range of support. And finally, at the end of the travel, the shock compresses into the area called the bottom out zone. All oil is forced to flow through the main piston assembly, which provides the most resistance and slows down the shock. This gives you the firmest support, protecting you from bottoming out over the roughest terrain. While these broad internal bypass zones determine the base level of damping support, it's the live valve technology that allows more range and precise adjustments as you drive. The race-proven live valve system uses sensors to gather real-time data 500 times a second. Then, the Raptor's new algorithm interprets data and creates a predictive model based on your current driving style and terrain trajectory. This means if live valve determines a shock should move faster and provide more comfort in the moment ahead, it'll decrease preload on the spring behind the needle, which will open the valve. If it determines a shock should move slower and provide more support in the next moment, it'll increase preload on the spring behind the needle, proportional to the amount of support needed. If the terrain becomes even more aggressive, these adjustments to the needle work in tandem with the boost valve, which uses hydraulic pressure to progressively increase support and protect you from bottoming out. Thanks for taking the time to join us today for an inside look at how live valve and internal bypass work together to provide an unprecedented level of performance in the new 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor.